Thank you, Intel. You finally didn't kill a socket after its second birthday. But did they actually deliver a good enough product to warrant an upgrade? 14th gen Intel really didn't have too much hype around it. And I mean, there has to be a good reason, right? Well, there actually isn't. It's just because AMD isn't releasing the 8000 series until next year, so we just kind of get this to hold us over for now. And looking at the price line of these CPUs, we see the exact same thing as last year. The performance of the i5 and the i9 look extremely similar to last year, with the exception of a slightly elevated clock speed. However, the i7 seems to be their main focus this year. With its new additional cores, we saw a significant increase in its multi-core performance compared to last year's model. We feel like it's also worth mentioning that there's no upgrade when it comes to their internal GPUs, but if you're buying a $400 CPU, we would expect that the internal graphics would be the least of your worries. But how do these improvements stack up against AMD? At the higher end, the 14900K significantly outperforms the 7950X, and it comes in at around the same price, which makes Intel look like the better option, as long as you don't pay the electric bill. But for the average gamer, the Ryzen 7 7800X3D still exists. It's a CPU capable of beating processors twice its price without all the fancy cores. No, I mean seriously, the benchmarks almost seem fake. So what does this mean for this generation? Should you go run out and buy one? I mean, the Cinebench scores are pretty good. Oh shit. Yeah, I think it's safe to say you could wait a couple weeks and find the 13th gen on sale, or you can wait until next year, when there will almost definitely be a huge leap forward. Goodbye, LGA 1700.